Everybody knows water clay is difficult. Everybody, even the masters, they also do the mistakes. Now let's talk about three tips to make your watercolor journey better. Hi, my name is Avishek Rauth and welcome to my channel. This is Art for Thought. So the first thing, observe. If you observe well, you'll capture a lot of details out of the subject. So tip number two, practice. People say practice makes things perfect. Okay, we all know that. So, but what do you do? Wrong practice can actually make you waste a lot of paper in a wrong way. Waste a lot of paintings, waste a lot of paint absolutely make your brushes garbage i'm not sure there are a lot of things that can actually happen if you do the practice in the right way things will actually take you long long way and if you are actually going to do wrong practice i mean if you don't really understand the basics it won't help it you just are going to ruin your painting and the third most important thing have faith Prepare for the unexpected. Now, this might uh, actually sound a little weird, but I'll be honest with you. As for my experience, if you are expecting a fantastic painting, it might happen, it might not. But if you're not expecting a fine painting, rather you're expecting your work to be flawless, you might actually end up with a masterpiece. Trust me, I know. This is our main subject. We have two lemons on a plate. Everything is white. The foreground, the background, everything is white. The light is basically from the top. Now this is the full view which I am going to paint in this tutorial. Look closely. Analyze the light. See how the highlights are. Try to see the medium dark areas. Try to see the extremely dark areas. Try to memorize it. Even though we are going to copy this, try to memorize the lighting. If you are doing it artificially, it's good. If you're doing it outside, the light will actually fluctuate a lot. Look at the shadows. Understand. Analyze. How dark are they? How light are they? Really, really important. Try to blur your eyes to see the big shapes of light and the big shapes of dark. Which areas are actually slightly lighter than the darker areas? That's all you have to observe to get a realistic painting. Okay, so this one we are going to use two colors, especially yellow and brown. So we'll have the yellows, the brown, and also we'll just leave the spot because I just zoomed in on it and you, and you can see we don't I don't have the plate because that's not really important right now I want to know how the colors are going to affect the body now if I'm just going to pick yellow basically you can pick any yellow as of now as you're practicing but right colors are good so you can pick you can practice with lemon yellow separately and you can also practice with the medium yellow that you have it can be anything chrome yellow I'm using uh, you can use cadmium, whatever you have, which is the medium yellow. I'm using Sophie yellow, which is Sennelius. And how to know if it is medium tone or light tone. So make samples. Put a, put a, put a sample like this. Then add some water to the paint. Clean your brush once and just see. And that's slightly lighter. And then add more water. And then add another patch. Stick to the one you like, that is good because that's medium. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick some paint, add a touch of water to it, maybe a little more because I'm not sure if it is going to be the right color. So I have to practice and see and that's how you know. So that looks quite bright. Now the brown I'm going to use is burnt umber. You can use anything you want, that's okay. This is again Sennelius, 
So I'm going to mix this to the paint and do this darker areas. Now you can see they look good now. Maybe a touch of more burnt umber here just like this and maybe a little bit of one time over here we are doing the same thing like we did with the black and white one so now i'm gonna add touch of yellow over here touch of yellow over here and maybe a touch of yellow over here very simple and now it's time to blend them so blending over here just like this and don't worry try to blend and practice this is going to help you okay i'm gonna stop doing lectures and we are just gonna focus there we go looks good again over here i'm going to leave the light source like this medium tone a little more this is just like shading guys so let's go for it i can use orange and other colors but then that's not really the purpose right now so we'll just stick to this colors right now touch of yellow over here that's about right let's clean this up we'll maintain the highlight now if it is hard for you to have a highlight with the brush take a tissue and just touch it right there we are good to go okay that's good now for the shadows same colors but i'll keep more burnt sienna rather than yellow now this is going to be our shadow now to make it slightly cooler what i can do maybe i can just add a little bit of ultramarine to it it will still be brown but it will be slightly dull and dark this is just practice to show you how things work and then we'll try to do something which is more realistic in terms of shadow colors those are very easy you just go for a simple complementary colors rather than any complicated blends which, which will actually not help you, rather it will spoil your painting. There we go, quite cool, easy peasy, there we go, touch, touch, and I think I'm good. So as you can see, we are basically done, this guy is behind this guy, and maybe a touch of dark area just like that. Why not, isn't it? There we go. Textures, textures, textures. Sprinkling, that's a technique to use textures on anything that you would like to do. We are good to go. That's done. And I think it's good. So if the background is bothering you and you would like to do, let's try to keep it slightly cooler. So maybe what I can do, I can go for a grayish background just to keep it more realistic. I'm not going to touch that area obviously so this is more realistic in terms of lighting there we go very simple and for the ground you can just keep it like so and if you have to do the plate you can just do the shadow areas there we go and can establish some more depth here we go all right that looks good let's move on
All right, I hope that helped uh, in some way. Keep watching my videos and I hope you definitely learn something out of them. Take care of yourself. I'll definitely see you in my next videos. Take care.